Let's start with some world gen. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, fans, so that can tell you once more. And in this tutorial, we'll be setting up the world gen for our project right here. That basically means that while we're not going to add any ore or tree gen or any type of other world gen, this is a prerequisite tutorial for any type of world generation that you might want to add down the line. So do keep watching. So the one thing that is very important here is, by the way, that you will need data gen, specifically the mod registry data generator over here, as we will need to add another well registry over there. So that is quite important. But regardless of this, we can now start by going into our tutorial mod package and making a new package. Now they knew that's not right. We want to make a new package called world. Inside there, we'll make two new Java classes. Actually, that's all we're going to need. And the first one is the mod configured features class. And then the second one in the world package is going to be the mod placed features class. Now we're going to need one more thing and it's under world and then a new package. I'm going to call this gen so that it works, makes world gen. Ah, see what I did there? Exactly. Inside there, we'll make a new Java class called the mod world generation class. And this is actually the one we're going to start with. We're sort of going to start backwards and I'll explain what the mod configured features and the place features are in a second. But this one, super freaking simple. We're just going to make a public static void method. I'm going to call this generate mod world gen over here. And we're going to keep this empty because we don't have any world gen yet that we can generate. However, we will immediately call this inside of the tutorial mod class over here inside of the uninitialized method. It doesn't matter that much where we put it, but we can just put it here. That's going to be fine. Mod world generation, generate world gen. Because to this specific method, we're going to add each of the individual world gen calls, so to speak. But that's going to be done a little bit later. First of all, we're going to start with the configured features. Now this one is quite interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from a configured feature. We're then going to go to a place feature and that is then going to end up in, let's say, the world gen, right? Just for the sake of argument. The way that this works, I mean, we can call it world gen, world gen. We can also call it bio modification, whatever we want to call it. But basically a configured feature is going to be a feature that we can you know, later down the line spawn in the world. Now, what is a feature? I mean, a feature could be anything, a couple of blocks. It could be like a you know, a house uh, and the configure part of this basically says, okay, how is this going to look like, right? So for example, let's take the ores. How many ores are going to be in one vein? That is something we could configure. And that would then be a configured feature. We have 12 ores in this vein. That is a configured feature. Okay, interesting. That's very interesting. Now, of course, if you just have that, you're going to be like, okay, how am I going to place this in the world? And how is the exact correct phrasing? Because a place feature tells you how am I going to place it in the world, meaning how many veins per chunk am I going to place in the world? At what Y level am I going to place this ore inside of the world? That's quite an important question, right? Like, is it going to be going from like minus 80 to or minus 64 to like plus 64? Or is it going to only be existing like plus 100 to plus 200 Y level? You know, you that's what we have to define in the placed feature. And that is ex in the example of an ore. But maybe we can think of it as a an example of, let's say, a tree, right? It's like how many trees are going to be placed next to each other? Are they going to be placed you know, on top of each other, things like that. These like questions on how am I going to place a configured feature? That's the place features for like fault or, or responsibility, let's say. And then the biome modifications, which is a class given to us by uh, basically by fabric, which is going to be very interesting. That defines what, where this is going to place, right? So this is the, this is the, how does it look like? This is how is it going to be placed? And this is where is it going to be placed? Because these are the questions that we need to ask of anything that we might want to spawn in the side of the world. And the bio modifications, well, it's in the name, right? It basically tells you, hey, this specific place feature can be placed in these biomes. And then we can define what biomes we want to place this in. But in this case, we're just going to start off with the basic setup. Very straightforward. I will copy over two methods here for the configured feature and you'll see that they are quite straightforward. Now, this we just need to import the tutorial mode over here and then we can see there's a registry key method for a registry key of configured feature. Basically saying, hey, we want to make a registry key and then we have a register method. Now, the astute among you will say, wait a second, you've seen this. Yes, the trim is basically the exact same setup. We have a registry key over here. We have a register method with an registerable right here. And you can see this is also a registerable and that is exactly how this works, right? So it's the same thing. We're generating JSON files again. 
And what we also will need is a public static void bootstrap method with a registerable of type configured feature of type question mark, comma, question mark. Looks pretty crazy, but basically just says we want the, this is going to be the context, by the way. And this is going to be, you know, it looks crazy. It looks complicated, but the general idea is just we're going to make, we're going to be able to register any configured feature. That's why it's question mark, question mark, because we can put in anything we might want. And that's pretty cool. That is the first step here for the mod configured features. Now, when it comes to the mod place features, it is basically going to be a similar deal where we're going to have three methods. Now, reason for that is actually that we have, uh, we're going to see that in a second. Also, we still need to import the tutorial mod class and we can see once again, a register key method here. Once again, this time of a place feature though, then a register call right here and then a register call right here. This register call is specifically going to be for the bush that we've added. This is going to be a custom bush like custom bush generation. Uh, that's actually where we need this specific method, but we'll see that once it comes up. And of course here, once again, we also need a public static void bootstrap method with a registerable of type, the same place feature over here. I want to call this context again. And then here we can also add already one thing that we will 100% need. And that is we need to somehow access the configured features. I'm going to make a var configured features. I'm going to say context.com get registry lookup. And this is for the registry keys of configured feature, because you remember back once again, if we have this right, and then a place feature and then a bio modifier, uh, then what we have is the configured feature, right? Obviously has to be somehow tied to the place feature because the place feature needs to know what is the configured feature that we're placing down. Aha. And that is why we need this configured feature so that we can look up any configured feature we might want. And with this general setup, we basically already have almost everything we need. We then can just simply jump into data gen over here into our mod registry data generator. Once again, if you don't have this, then you simply need to create this and we can add th both the configured feature over here as well as the placed feature over here. That's quite important that we have both of them added right there. And when we have this, we also want to go to our tutorial mod data generators. And down here, we now want to duplicate this twice as well and add for both the configured feature, configured feature, making sure we choose the configured feature and not the carver, very important. And then here, mod configured features, colon, colon, bootstrap. Uh, bootstrap, no, that's not right. I'm gonna rename this to bootstrap. Did I rename Did I name the other one wrong as well? I think I did, right? <laughs> place features over here, mod place features. No, that one is bootstrap. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, well, there you go. That is going to be the idea. And of course, if we were now to run the data gen, nothing is going to generate because both bootstrap methods are completely empty, right? There's nothing in there, but that is what we're going to do. We're going to basically fill this. And now from this point, you can jump off to custom origin, custom tree gen. Once you have the tree, uh, custom, what is it? Custom bush generation or any other type of world gen, you can jump off of from here. Hopefully has this is going to be a good foundation. And of course, like I said, in the next tutorial right here, we're going to talk about origin. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.